everybody and welcome back to our work from home yoga challenge. Uh, now this uh, challenge is uh, being done by me in collaboration with Medha Bhaskar of Amruta Bindu Yoga. Medha and I uh, have many students who have been complaining about back pain because all of us are basically sitting at home all day long um, in back postures in uh, you know on tables and chairs which were not originally designed uh, to be used as workstations and um, yeah a lot of people have been complaining about back pain and so this entire month uh, you know we're working on um, sort of reversing the back pain uh, that everybody uh, is susceptible to and everybody is experiencing these days um, and the next posture is called Janu Shish Asana uh, which is a very common posture um, most of you who attend yoga classes and maybe uh, even those of you who go to the gym and who do other forms of workouts have already done this uh, posture. Uh, Janushri Shasana also translates to uh, head to knee touch. Uh, and the way we do it is this way. Um, I'll show you the classical way of doing it. And I'm going to turn uh, to one side, extend both legs out. And then just to demonstrate, I'm going to fold my left leg in first and then left leg is, uh, the right leg is in, left leg is uh, extended forward. I'm going to inhale, extend the arms up and then as I exhale, I'm going to take my hands forward and then bring the forehead as close to the shins as I can. And to, to come up, I look up, extend the arms up and then come back down. So now there are many uh, different um, ways of doing this posture not everybody can really extend as much as I did and all of us tend to think that this posture is more about extending the hamstrings and you know the back of the leg um, which it is but that is not the only function of the Janushri Shasana it is an amazing posture which can be done uh, to uh, you know relax the mind it can be done to relax the body and it is also done to extend the back and get rid of any kind of um, inconsistencies on the spine like so for instance a hunchback or um, uh, any other deviations you know on the vertebrae all of it can actually be reversed and even cured and fixed um, just by practicing the Janushri Shasana properly so I'm going to show you how to do uh, the Janushri Shasana today using just a few props again you will have these around the house I'm going to use a belt you can use a scarf um, I'm going to use um, a block and I'm using a soft block uh, versus the hard blocks that I sometimes use um, and the reason I'm going to use a soft block is because I want my foot to rest on this um, and I'm going to use um, a mat like I folded it up to sit on basically and uh, so if you you can use a mat you can also uh, use a small pillow if you have like a you know not like a very hard and very uh, thick pillow but a small pillow that will just give your hips a little bit of elevation so what you're going to do is you're going to sit at the edge of this uh, seat that you've created for yourself and once again I'm going to show with my uh, left leg so you're going to extend the legs forward and I'm going to bend the right leg in and then I'm going to extend the left leg so that it's on top of the block or any kind of elevation that you choose. Now, make sure that your the, the leg which is bent, that heel should be close to the groin. So it, sh it must be touching the groin. The foot should be on the side of the opposite thigh. What I've seen most of the time is that people tend to push this foot under the opposite thigh and that is the wrong way of doing it. You want to make sure that the foot uh, is resting on the side of the opposite thigh uh, heel is close to the groin this leg is stretched out and then what happens most of the time is that to in order to reach the toes and most people can touch the toes in order to reach the toes you will curve the spine but we want you to lengthen the spine keep the spine long only then uh, will you feel a stretch on the hamstrings and only then will you correct the curvature of the spine otherwise if you keep doing this you keep emphasizing that unhealthy curve of the spine and that is what leads to back ache. So if you want to fix that, what you need to do is you need to lengthen the spine as though somebody is physically 